Hi guys, so this video is a quick DIY on how I made this like faux acetate um, that's iridescent using my laminator. And the light is so bad, you guys. I don't know. Um, can you see how iridescent? Maybe if I turn the light off. Oh, that's kind of better. So I was watching a crafter here on YouTube who was packaging embellishments in iridescent acetate and I couldn't find any online so I thought maybe I could DIY it and it came out really pretty it's pretty sturdy and it's using the laminator so um, I think um, it should be able to score and do what I'm planning to do with it which I'll share in another video uh, but really quickly, I'm going to show you how I made it using like Dollar Tree supplies and just items that were in my stash. So you can find this at the Dollar Tree. It's iridescent gift uh, packaging. So it's in like the the wrapping paper and ribbon and party supply um, aisle. And you get three sheets in here that are 20 by 20. And then, of course, you need um, your laminating sleeves or um, pockets, whatever they're called. So this is just a 9 by 11. So what I did was um, cut this down ahead of time because, you guys, this stuff is so hard to work with. It's like super um, clingy. It has like static cling. But if you see, it's very thin but super iridescent, right? So I pre-cut it using um, just a paper trimmer. Um, I left it folded just to make it easy so that I could trim it in bulk because I plan to make a few sheets of these for what I'm working on. And let me move this out of the way and show you guys how I packaged it. But, but really, I mean, basically you're just cutting it down and then putting it into the sleeve let's see I hope um, the camera's focused okay with my light off but this is also pretty clingy so tricky working with it but what I did was cut it down a little smaller than the 9 by 11 because I wanted it to have a little lip I'm gonna try um, scoring it and I'm gonna try trimming it and I'm hoping that after it's trimmed, that it doesn't split open. Like usually if you laminate a sheet of paper for a TN and you try to trim over the paper, then the laminating pocket would open up, right? The sleeve would open up. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll let you guys know how that works once I actually do trim it down. But if you can see, I just kind of, left a little bit of a lip all around and then it's pretty easy i have my laminator plugged in i you only have to run it through once i run everything through twice just because um but i don't think that's even necessary so let me just you want to kind of guide it into though because my first sheet um it got a little jammed in there i think because the gift tissue is so thin it the, the sleeve itself the laminating sleeve itself jammed up so you see it has some of those imperfections come through like the wrinkling and stuff because remember it's gift tissue but i think that just kind of adds to the look of it i don't think it, it matters too much that it has some of those wrinkles plus if you're using it um to make like a an envelope like I planned, right? I was thinking like an envelope or something. Um, you'd be, you probably could sew on the edges of it. You could probably um, hot glue trim. So quick and easy. And I'm gonna try scoring it and, and making like a mini booklet out of it and see how that works out. So I'll let you guys know. But wouldn't this be cool if it did work where it doesn't split open to use for like die cutting or to make some bows um, so i'll let you guys know how it works in another video but i just wanted to share that quick little tip with you i plan to make a bunch of these and then just have them in my stash like iridescent cardstock so all right let me know what you guys think or if you have any tips or tricks for me put them down in the comments down below all right bye guys